Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Sessom. Amen. I'm the senior pastor of Bethesda Revival Center. We're located in the city of Riverside in Southern California. We want to thank you for allowing us into your home once again as we discuss healing and wellness in accordance to the word of God. Amen. Do you know, oftentimes, the reason we don't get the results that we should get as it pertains to our healing is because we fail to exercise our rights. We're going to talk about that very briefly tonight. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, once again for the privilege of and of the privilege and the opportunity to stand before your people and teach the truth concerning your word. God, I praise you right now. I magnify thy name. You are a good, 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 good God. Hallelujah. You are worthy of our praises. Father, I ask your anointing upon me, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, to help me to teach tonight. Break yokes. Destroy yokes right now. Heal the sick like you do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I share the word, give them ears to hear. Faith. Let faith go forth that they might believe and act upon your word, receive and act upon your word. Now I come against every foe to faith, any spirit that will try to hinder us. We rebuke you right now. And Father, we are careful to thank you for this platform that you have blessed us with, the technology, the equipment, God, to share this word beyond our four walls of our church, oh God. I thank you, Father God, for that privilege and that blessing. In Jesus' name, those that agree say amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. Well, if you have your Bibles, let's turn once again. We've been in Isaiah uh, chapter 53. Let's turn there real quick. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus' name. While you're turning there, I just want to thank God for all the members of Bethesda Revival Center and those members of Abundant Life uh, Apostolic Community Church. Amen. That as we came together yesterday and they celebrated, amen, we celebrated our 22nd anniversary, amen, our church anniversary, and also we consolidated the, the that event with our pastor's uh, appreciation service, and we, it was a blessing. We thank God for Pastor uh, Jimmy M. Gitron. She did bring a word from the Lord, amen, glory to God. And we just thank God, amen, for everybody, amen, that participated and made that service, amen, spectacular, amen. So if you have your Bibles, amen, glory to God, let's, we're in Isaiah chapter 53, and I'm going to start reading from verse 4. It reads thus, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. A amen, somebody. Jesus came to the earth. Amen. He came to the earth to give himself. Amen. And he did. <laughs> amen. He came to this earth, the earth to give, and he gave himself as a sacrifice for sin in order to buy back for you and I everything that Adam had lost. Amen. He came to destroy all the works of the devil, and that includes sickness and disease. Amen. See, once you receive Jesus Christ, amen, as the Lord of your life, all the rights and privileges, amen, uh, uh, that, that God intend, originally intended for you to have, amen, glory to God, We're talking about things like uh, fellowship with God, amen, um, wealth, health, prosperity, all of those things, in fact, are restored, amen, glory to God, amen. We've been redeemed, that's the purpose of redeeming, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, a amen. And, 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 and we use the word, and some, oftentimes we use the word ransom, amen. He paid the price. The price was his precious blood, amen, glory to God. But you know what the real deal is? 
even though we have been giving our rights and privileges restored, we're the ones that's got to that must exercise those rights. A a amen. Nobody's going to exercise those rights for you. You've got to exercise those rights. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You see the devil. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says, amen. He's a liar. Amen. Glory to God. And the truth of the matter is what got him kicked out of heaven is he's basically an outlaw. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> amen. That's, that's just one of his MOs. He's an outlaw. And even uh, though Jesus has taken away his authority on the earth, in the earth, amen, uh, he still, he has no legal right to kill or steal from us as the children of God. Amen. But since he's an outlaw, amen, listen to me, he's an outlaw. He'll do it anyway. Amen. Glory to God. He'll do it as long as you or I allow him to get away with it. Amen, somebody. We got to stop him from getting away with it. Uh, Second Corinthians, I told you tonight is going to be a pretty, real short when I'm still re recovering or resting from yesterday, but I'm endeavoring to put something out there just to, 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 to wet your whistle a little bit. Amen. Give you something to chew on. Amen. Second Corinthians, amen, 10 verse 3 and through 6 says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. And it says, for I, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Come on. Amen. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Watch this. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every what? Thought. Come on. Every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. What we've got to do is you and I have been tasked. We've been given the task of enforcing Satan's defeat by speaking the word of God in faith. Come on, somebody. By speaking the word of God in faith faith. Bless God. Hallelujah. We got to do it in faith. Amen. We've got to act on God's word now. Amen. That's why we must have our heart. Amen. Now, I am filled, full of the word. Uh, one of my uh, teachers at a mentoring uh, school I attended. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, Pastor Dufresne taught us that you got to stay full. Come on, somebody. Pastor Nancy. Amen. She taught us, you got to stay full. You got to stay full of the Holy Ghost. Instant in season and out of season. Amen. You got to be ready. You got to be ready to act on the, on the word of God. Amen. If you hesitate, come on somebody, those lies that the enemy tells, they'll, be, they'll try to set up roots. Amen. They'll try to set up roots. And it's hard to, to, to you know what, what, how weeds are. Sometimes they can be stubborn. Amen. You might pull up part of it, but so there's still something left in the ground. And then when that part that's still left in that ground grow up, it's, it's grows up more robust and thicker than the, the original uh, uh, weed was. Amen. So you got to act on God's word and you've got to enforce Satan's defeat in Jesus name. Amen. By speaking the word of God in faith. Amen. Now I got to say something. You're not speaking the word of God to bring into existence healing. You, huh? You're speaking the word of God because you are healed. See, there's, and there's a difference. There's a difference. See, Jesus did it. And what you're doing is confessing and professing and agreeing with what he did. Come on, somebody. You, you catch that? You're agreeing with what he did already. Amen. So therefore, that's you're enforcing it. You're enforcing what Jesus did. You're not creating any. You're enforcing what he did for you. Come on, that's covenant stuff. You're enforcing that covenant. Amen. You. So therefore, you've got to demand that sickness and disease leave you in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. And then on top of that, you got to ref refuse to back off. You got you can't back down. You can't you you uh, come on somebody. Once you get started, you can't stop. You got to keep it going. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says in James chapter 4 verses 7 and 8. It says submit yourselves therefore to God. 
How do I submit myself to God? I agree with his word. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling of, down of strongholds. Come on. Huh. We bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So I submit myself to God. I submit myself to God's word. In other words, I come under. Anytime sub anything, sub means under. I come under. Come on. What the word says. I submit myself to God. I submit myself to his word. I resist the devil and he will flee from me. How do I resist the devil? Come on, somebody. I resist him according to 1 Peter. Let's watch. Let, wait a minute. Hold on. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and 9 says this. Be sober. Come on. Be vigilant. In other words, you have to stay alert. You have to stay awoke. Come on. Huh? You got to stay sober, which means you have to stay awoke. And you have to stay watchful. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the, the word, word adversary, key word in there is adverse. He brings adverse things into our lives. He's our adversary, our enemy. He, come on, somebody. He goes against what God wants for us, the good God wants. He brings the, the bad or the evil. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. May. May almost sounds like a word where you give someone permission. Come on. We so we don't give him permission. How do we not give him permission? How he we we may how may we not allow him to exact upon us by bringing sickness and disease into our life? Easy. If the Bible says, "Whom resist steadfast in the faith." Come on, somebody. Whom resist steadfast in the faith? Amen. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Amen. So we got to resist him according to the word of God. Amen. Now back to 2 Corinthians, amen, uh, back to uh, James 4, 7, and 8. It says, submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee. When it says resist, it's letting you know that, that, that there's, this is not a passive, come on somebody, this is not a passive activity. Come on, this is a dynamic, this is not a static activity, this is active. You have to actively resist the devil. Come on, you got to actively do it. It says draw nigh to God. Come on somebody, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. In other words, you got to stay on the same accord with the word of God. Amen. You got to continue to say what the word of God says. Amen. Con concerning uh, your healing and everything. Amen. Glory to God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise tonight. Let me put some music on. I told you it's going to be short. I preached almost an hour the last time, and I had meant to only go uh, 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you tonight. We thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Father God, because you have tell told us that we've got to enforce Calvary's victory. Lord, you call us your ambassadors. You, your word says we are heirs of salvation. Your word calls us healed. Your word calls us the delivered. Father, in the name of Jesus, we believe your report. Your arm has been revealed to us. God, we command in your name, the name of Jesus. You told us, to, actually, you told us to speak to the mountain. And you said we can tell it what to do. And as long as we did not doubt in our heart, it would do what we said do. You said we could talk to a sycamore tree and tell it to be plucked up by the roots and cast into the sea. Yes, you did. You told us we can do it, Lord. And so we say, yes, Lord. We say, yes, Lord. We say, yes, Lord. We say, yes. So we speak to sickness. We speak to illness. We speak to lack. We speak to poverty. Your word says, let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say I'm rich. And we say that, Lord. We say we are strong in you and in the power of your might. We thank you right now. We thank you, Father God, because we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, he became poor for our sake. We thank you right now for supplying all of our needs. We thank you for healing this body. 
We thank you for delivering us, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that sickness, sickness and disease has no right in our to live in our body. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, we, we enforce Christ's victory. In your name, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we enforce Jesus' victory. Hallelujah. In our bodies. In our homes. We enforce his victory. In the name of Jesus. We cast down, glory to God, lies. We cast down deceptions. We thank you, Father God. You're an awesome God in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you right now. I thank you right now. We thank you for everyone we prayed for yesterday during the end of the service, oh God. We thank you that they hold on, they hold on by faith unto the words that were spoken over their lives. God, your, your, your pastor, Pastor Gitron said, when we're down to nothing, God is up to something. We thank you right now, Father, because somebody's down to nothing. Somebody has exhausted every bit of resources that they have. And now it's up to you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, God, for coming through for your people. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that your grace is sufficient for us. We give you praise right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And those that agree, say amen. Well, beloved, that's all I have for you tonight. Exercise your rights. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said exercise your rights. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't just sit there and just think about it. Exercise it. Open up your mouth, glory to God, and agree with the word of God out loud concerning your situation. And watch, glory to God, that situation change in the name of Jesus. Well, beloved, this is how we do it. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And let the church say, amen. God bless you. We love you. We miss you. Don't wait. Now, now, tomorrow, don't forget, we'll be on for Bible study. Our normal Bible study. We're dealing with God as our source. Amen. At 7 p.m. sharp via Facebook Live. And then we'll upload, upload it to YouTube. We want to say, God bless you. Y'all stay safe out there. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.